morning from my uh, local park, Dreamland. So I actually only live um, around about half an hour away from this park. So it technically uh, is actually my uh, local park. Um, and uh, fast becoming one of my favorites as well. So um, I'm here today uh, with my little man and we're gonna be uh, going to getting on a few rides, uh, looking at the amusement uh, arcades and uh, just kind of wandering around the park. So they have got a special uh, kind of thing on today. So they're gonna be showing the highlights of Glaston Glastonbury um, on their big screen uh, over in the main area there. Um, so that'll be quite good to kind of see as well. So yeah, but in terms of the park itself, it's really, really becoming an up and coming park. Uh, they're really doing a lot of uh, kind of work around here to make it uh, a lot better than it was uh, when it first opened about two years ago. So just going to show you this. So it's, it is actually free entry into the park. So it's open uh, weekends and then holidays as well. It's, like I said, free entry into the park so you don't have to pay. But this is really kind of nice where they've got this uh, kind of dreamland ride area as well. So the Scenic Railway, which it opened in 1920, uh, but was rebuilt later on in time. Uh, which still stands before us now as well uh, and then we just got some other kind of things as well so the electric boats there as well uh, dreamland aerial view which is kind of what they've replicated with the dreamland drop the helter skelter there the big wheel which is still in existence uh, but obviously a different variation as well or an upgraded version of that as well and then the looping star which is what everyone talks about in this area uh, from 1982 to 1996, the world's uh, the first looping coaster ever in Kent. Uh, so yeah, it's like I said, it's had a lot of uh, lottery funding to get it to where it needs to be, to obviously get people uh, to come back to this park as well, which uh, are doing in their drones as well. So I know that they, their attendance, park attendance for this year alone, is more than it was last year already, and we are not even halfway through the year. So some really good stuff and work that they're doing uh, from Dreamland as well. So I'm just going to get into the park and then I'll, I'll show you around. So we've, uh, we've just found our way into the park and we've just got this really uh, amazing big deck chair so we thought we'd uh, have a bit of a chill out, eh Jay? Yeah. A bit of uh, chilling with the pops, do you want to show your t-shirt? Just chilling with me pops. So yeah, so we've, uh, we thought we'd have a chill out there so as you come through uh, the kind of the entrance way there so you've got uh, the kind of the Austin cars just over there as well uh, and then you've got the uh, the old carousel there as well and then you kind of just see that uh, just behind so you've got the Austin carousel, uh, cars just there like I said and then the carousel just there as well and then the scenic railway just runs quite, uh, quite just at the back of there as well which is uh, working today as well so uh, and then you've got the, uh, the slides as well just over there which is a really really good um, kind of addition as well you do pick up some speed and if you really wanted to, you can get a little bit of air time over the humps up there as well. So, but yeah, we just thought we'd uh, we'd just have a bit of a chill out in the sun, eh, right, Jake? Yeah. Do you, do you like this park? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Which is your favourite ride here? Uh, the um, Dreamland Drop. The Dreamland Drop. So, uh, Jake really didn't like um, 
kind of drops, uh, drop rise or anything like that. But he looked up the courage last time we were here to go on it. And uh, ever since there, I think he's uh, fascinated with, uh, with drop towers and that. And there. So we're kind of getting him in the right place in terms of uh, getting him ready for thrill rise later on in, uh, when he's a little bit older to ride them. Hey, Jay. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, beautiful day here again today. It seems like every time I turn up at Dreamland, it's always a beautiful day. So, and it just makes the park uh, just that little bit more special, uh, especially with the music that they're kind of playing that as well. So, yeah, definitely, uh, definitely my, one of my favourite places. So just talk about the uh, the wristband or the ticket prices here. So like I said before, it was a it's, it is a free entry uh, kind of park. So, but uh, you have got uh, discounts if you do do online before visiting as well. So on the day for under 1.25s is uh, 16 pounds, but if you buy it in advance, it's 10 pounds for the day. Um, and then if you then are over 1.25 you then get it for uh, £20 uh, if you buy it on the day but £15 um, if you uh, book in advance as well and if you do book in advance as well uh, what is also really good is uh, I, I would recommend doing the car park as well so you can just park outside the park um, and then just walk straight in because you won't get it any cheaper and on the day it does cost a little bit more uh, you're looking for about five hours for about 12 to 13 pounds so it can uh, kind of sting you in that way but um, yeah I would definitely recommend doing it in advance as well and I believe that is seven pounds for the whole day so you do get your full kind of uh, kind of entitlement for your wristband um, as well so but we just made our way into the main kind of area here like I said that that's kind of where they have all their uh, shows of, little bits like that as well and where they do show the football some occasions as well uh, and obviously today the Glastonbury thing will be on there as well so they've got a lot of uh, kind of things coming up I know Mel C's playing here uh, Rudimental Andy C it's just to name a few and then you can obviously there see the uh, Dreamland drop just there in the sun as you go around so this is the, the area here where they'll fill it all up um, you know and then but I know that a lot of them are sold out. I know Rudimental sold out uh, very quickly, uh, which would have been amazing to come and see as well. So as you got here, you've got all the kind of the different variations of food courts. So a pizza and cider area as well there, an ice cream, which looks very busy at the moment. Fish and chip store over there as well. Uh, Naughty Floss over there as well, uh, a bar. And then you've got kind of a seating area just over there where you can have your lunch and that as well. Uh, in front of the dreamland kind of signs and then just over there another bar as well and then burger and dogs over there as well so but yeah some um, some really kind of uh, nice areas in this park just to relax and chill out as well um, but yeah um, I don't know what time they're actually planning on starting uh, the Glastonbury uh, kind of show today but um, I'll be here for a little bit to kind of uh, see that as well just to see if it's something that is uh, worth coming for uh, so I'm going to head over towards uh, kind of Pendulum and kind of Pinball um, X, see what that's like as well, uh, and um, yeah, carry on showing you around the park. there we just had a little play around in the arcade and the two pin machines something that uh, I actually quite like doing and getting a little one to do as well it just takes me a little bit back to my uh, childhood just playing around and just getting a few little silly, uh, silly gifts and that as well so but what's quite interesting I'm just actually coming to um, something that wasn't here last time uh, is the shop 
and, and some really kind of nice really cool stuff that they've kind of started to sell here as well so i just kind of start turning you turn around kind of so you can see uh, of the kind of little shop area that they've now kind of set up just think there's some really really nice stuff in here as well so really kind of like these cards here it's definitely kind of uh, something that i'd like to get uh, sent to me on my birthday you've got kind of little bits as well so got some really kind of old nice stuff as well life is full of ups and downs just enjoy the ride it's quite a really nice one there got some of the kind of the margate memories have you got an, have you ever been in an accident that wasn't your fault as well but what's really nice is these little pop-up cards that they've got here as well so flying seagull And then the Ferris wheel I think is really cool as well. So they're £4.50, so I think that's actually a really, really good price as well. So it's a really nice stuff here as well. Dream and Margate on there. And then there's some other little bits that they've kind of done as well. So just kind of some generic bits that they've got here as well at the same time. Little bits. Cute little uh, unicorn bits there, obviously. The fashion at the moment. I think these are kind of really well priced, actually. Top trumps. So just kind of a few extra things that they've kind of put in. I just think it's a really nice addition, uh, actually, to have a little gift shop as well. It's another little way of kind of making it a bit more money. Um, but yeah, some nice little bits that they've got in the in the um, in the store as well. Probably going to purchase that uh, lanyard and some of the little bands as well. That'd be quite nice as well. Go guys, so a, a really cheap way of doing uh, air off here without paying the pound. You should get to grab yourself one of these containers. Put a little bit of weight in there and you can have a good old play around. Are you ready? Step right up and pass the ball. Ready, go. You can do it. Give it the mustard. Go on, Jay, you can do it. Go on. Oh, the little chin music, huh? Oh, no pressure. Come on, give it another go. Let's go, let's see what we can get. No, right the way up and down. Really, 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 
Do you like it? Do you think we should get one for the front room? Yeah? Some really cool um, old uh, Wallsford uh, carts here where you can kind of eat and have some good old drink just to chill out for a little bit as well. I just think they're really, really cool. I kind of love one of these in the front room. So there's your, uh, your the arcade bits there as well and then you've got your uh, roller disco as well so something a little bit old school as well just here so you can kind of hire skates for four pounds kind of a nice little area but like proper old school kind of uh, vibes well, it does actually come really, really busy later on as well, so we've actually come at a good time now. But yeah. No skates behind that point. Right, we're going to head back into the park now to um, wander around towards the top area of the park as well and get on some more rides. Speak to you soon. Yeah, so you've got little kind of really funny things on there. So you've got an arrow pointed into the park saying good times and then over there as well. Uh, more good times going towards the arcade as well. Happy things. And then you've got some back to reality, which heads, actually points towards the car park, which is actually quite cool. And where the sun sets, uh, which is actually pretty good. So it's actually where the beach is as well, just outside of the park and that as well. So. Some really really good stuff there i just really really like it as well what's up on sale on there uh, more good times which i've already said as well but yeah i just think this little bit of detailing that they're doing uh, it just makes it really really good so yeah it's um it's kind of an old uh, old uh kind of little thing there as well but what's it say there the dreamland trust as well with thanks and recognition for the contribution made by the dreamland trust yeah i just think that's really good do you like that jake yeah, it's a good little thing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And then you like this little entrance here, don't you? You really do. The little spinny things, you like to give it a spin, don't you? As well. Just really, really cool. Kind of entrance area as well. Oh, there he is, a little mascot. He's on his way through to the bar. Good time in there. He must be hot in that. He's hot already today, so he's wearing that as well. But, you know, it gives the... Uh, the kids are smile on their face as well. Anyway, let's get away from these speakers. I made my way up to this uh, little viewing area, uh, which is towards the back of the park. Um, and uh, yeah, you do actually get some really, really good views uh, uh, across the Dreamland uh, kind of park from up here as well. I'm just going to show you around. So you've got like a really, really nice kind of uh, barbecue area there. Uh, which is open in a couple of uh, about an hour or so, a couple of hours. They said uh, obviously for the food to obviously start uh, getting ready. Nice little prosecco kind of bar area as well there. So, and then just over there, and um, this one, this ride here has an open uh, kind of so far. Uh, every time I've been, but I think that's looking like it's going to be opening soon. I think it's kind of one of them that spin round and then the cover goes over it to make it completely dark. I'm not too sure. Uh, comment below if you do know what it uh, what it actually is. You've got Pinball X over there as well, which is Jake's favourite uh, favorite ride. He absolutely loves it. Spinning coast that you can actually get some really, really nice spinning on, uh, depending on which one. So I believe it's the orange or the blue car over there that was spinning like crazy. And you just make your way around. So you've got the Helter Skelter there, and then the bumper cars just at the back there as well. And then you've got the Dreamcatcher over there, and kind of another um, ride over there. I'm not too sure, couldn't remember what it was called. As you can see, the Dreamline, uh, drop just going up there and then hanging around before it does its last drop there it goes makes its way right to the very very top beautiful views from the park and in the beach area from there and there it goes 
and then as promised as well so there you go so you've got the kind of the Glastonbury highlights there as well uh, making us feel like we were actually there in attendance without paying the silly prices that it probably was as well and then just look at, from this point here as well so you've got kind of the Bourne Slippy uh, slide um, over there um, which uh, Born Slippy, if anybody knows, was a, a great um, song from ages ago, so it's kind of uh, from Underworld, I believe. Uh, great ride. Uh, and then you've also they've got the Ferris wheel just over there, uh, entrance is just over there as well. You've got the, uh, and the swings are just there. And then just where that building is, just there, just behind is actually the seafront as well, so you can actually make a day of it here and come here for the day. We'll also go over to the beach area kind of over there. And then, like I said, just down here is a nice little chill out area as well. Some people setting up camp down there, watching their, uh, watching it. Beautiful day for it, you know, just to come here for the day. You know, you don't really have to go on anything. You can just literally just walk around the uh, the park um, and, uh, and just take in the rays and the sun as well and the atmosphere as well. I really do believe this has got a really, really good atmosphere, this park. Um, you know, when it's actually full, it's very quiet at the moment, but it will pick up in a bit. Uh, it generally picks up later on when people have been to the beach for a little bit and then, then they'll come over here later on as well. Uh, but yeah, and then the bar area you've got down there now and then Burger and Dogs is just opening up down there as well. Some really, really nice food that they've got here as well. So let's just quickly show you around Bob, uh, his bit as well. So you've got Jake playing around there as well. What? Where did you want to show uh, everybody then, Jake? Just over here, where the um, the old lions and that, yeah. So this is where the uh, the lions used to be kept for the circus a long time ago, wasn't it? Yeah, just in there as well. So they've still kind of kept the little cages there, but um, yeah, obviously nothing there in there whatsoever. But yeah, they've kind of kept this uh, area as it was as well, just so you can kind of see as well. So. But yeah, so that's where the lions and that would have been kept for the circuses a long time ago as well. And then you've got Pendulum just going over there as well. That is one intense ride just going up there as well. The amount of people that come off there throwing up, being sick. Um, or just coming off crying as well to be fair thinking it's actually an okay ride and then getting on it as well um, yeah it's something to obviously make sure that you've got nothing in your pockets um, and that you, when you are uh, riding it as well all your glasses are off as well so um, you know I will tell the story because it happened um, I went on it took everything out of my pockets completely um, and then I actually forgot about my sunglasses that was attached to my t-shirt the ride operator di didn't let me know uh, totally forgot they were there, didn't even know, uh, went on there and when it does hang you upside down, uh, that point there, um, I actually, uh, my glasses come off and actually fell right the way to the ground. No one was hurt, it was nowhere near the train itself, um, but yeah, just a slight reminder there that obviously it can happen and to make sure that all loose articles are, um, are kept uh, at ground level as well, just in case, but yeah. Kind of a nice little kind of viewing area as well there the scenic railway just going up as well so we'll talk about the scenic railway in a bit once we got over to that little area as well so but yeah it actually feels like we're at glastonbury but without the massive prices you enjoying your day yeah yeah it's really nice isn't it to come into dreamland yeah yeah especially when the sun is shining Do you wish you could get on it? I don't really wish I could go on it. Okay, right, let's watch the riders' reaction. Let's 
when you start feeling it about now. Yeah. See? Right. Let's see how many people uh, start crying or screaming too much. I'll start going the other way now. Oh, there is definitely a few scared faces on that one and it will then go right the way over this time. Oh no. That bit there just feels so long. You can probably see why a lot of people do uh, kind of throw up on this ride or uh, yeah, don't go on it again once they've gone on it once. But yeah, I do actually love it. It's probably one of the, uh, the most extreme ones that they actually have here. That's it, and we're just coming to the end of the cycle now. Yeah, there's a few uh, unhappy people. <laughs> and that was Pendulum. There you go, that blue one's got a bit of a spin on. Again, just sitting in the right position, every all one to one side. Your favourite roller coaster of all time or just favourite rides? It's one of my favourite rides. Okay, and why is it one of your favourite rides? It is quite fast, it spins around a lot of the rides and I also like how it's based on Pimble. No, I really like Pimble. And then the little airtime hills that you have at the bottom as well, you kind of like as well, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, some really good stuff there, so. But yeah, so you've got the ride itself there, so a bit of on-ride filming there for a mobile. Um, so yeah, it's, it is a really, really good uh, little kind of spinning coaster actually. So, got the lift hill going up there, kind of the standard generic layout there as well. But what's really interesting is there's, uh, there is two trains that uh, really, really do spin. One of them is the orange one over there. Uh, so if you can get yourself on that one as well. And I believe it was the blue one uh, last time as well that was really, really, really good. You, if you get everybody waiting to the wrong side, uh, you spin like crazy. I couldn't believe how much we span on that ride last time. Uh, it was, you kind of made it a highlight and you know made this ride a lot more special to me just because of how much it was spinning. So if you have a look at this one here now, there's not really much spinning action going on there. Uh, just because they're sitting in the middle, uh, you need to kind of, um, kind of be more weighted onto one side um, and then just kind of, you'll, you will hit that kind of spin. Uh, so yeah, this is a new updated version to the one that they had previously before they, uh, when they opened the park up. Um, 
they got completely took the other one out and replaced it with this brand new one for the park itself so and you know i do think it's really good it's a one meter ride with an adult which is also another good thing as well so uh, you can uh, obviously little ones can get on there as well um but yeah so but what's really interesting is they're actually close uh, it is to this residency here so would you like to live in there and obviously you have this as your your garden as your uh, theme park so there was a kind of a lot of things with residents as well saying it's a little bit too close uh, to the actual park but what they need to remember is uh, the actual park was here a long long time before uh, they started putting these buildings up so the question may be is you know was it the actual the buildings that were cl too close to actually the park not the other way around but yeah you can get some really really good spins on some of these uh, some of these little carts if you do it correctly uh, they're brilliant Follow this green one round now. And it goes down the first long drop. And a double, double up. And then that's where it engages the spin in there. So, as you can see, there's not much spin on that one at the moment. But yeah, we went on it uh, last time, didn't we? And we had a really good spin on it, didn't we? We were spinning like crazy. Which made it a lot more better ride, didn't it? Yeah, I think it was basically because the green one can't spin that much because they're in the middle. They're in the middle, aren't they? I think this they've rated it wrong. So yeah, you need to kind of be on the ends. Everyone needs to be more towards one area um, for you to actually get a really good spin on it as well. So, but yeah, one of Jake's favorite rides. That's uh, Water World Wars. So it's five pounds uh, for ten balloons there, and then they'll pick all these ones up and give them back uh, to the guys as well uh, once uh, everyone's finished as well. So they kind of doing little things with this area here. So they had the world's biggest bouncer castle here a couple of weeks ago, and obviously just doing a little bit of uh, uh, Water Wars here as well now. Old cyclone there. Really, really old school uh, twister. You've got the dream catcher there as well. But yeah, this is the area where they could potentially do a lot more with at the moment. So there's a lot of space here uh, for, you never know, uh, another coaster. There I say. So there's obviously three here already at the moment. So. Another, uh, another one would uh, be a great addition uh, for the park as well, so you never know who could be pitching to come here soon.
we've made our way over to the Mary Rose, a little play area for children and Jake's just going to give us an example of uh, little bits that you can do on there as well. So, oh, are you scared of this ride? No, it's not really a ride. It's not no. really a ride. Are you scared of the slide? No. Here he goes, he's on his way. Welcome back rider, how is your ride? So this is a kind of a new addition as well uh, to Dreamland for uh, this year as well. So um, yeah, just a little bit of kind of an extra thing that you can kind of do here. It's not a, um, an actual part of the um, the ticketing or anything like that. You can actually just come and play on this little area for free as well. So I believe Jake wants to tell us something. Little wheels there. Yeah, that you can swim. Yeah, you can pretend that you're driving the boat, and then you've got kind of some more little areas here. So you've got a little ladder, and then just up there as well, you have got the uh, the ropes as well to go into the middle area to get into the middle of, of Mary Rose. And as you can see, just from over this little area here, I just love this kind of area in terms of the grass, the rocks, and that as well. And then you've got these swinging boats over there as well. So. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a strange one, so the swinging boats, probably one of the weird, uh, weird attractions that you've got here as well. So um, you have to be kind of 1.2 um, and over. Um, if you're not, you have to ride it with an adult. And obviously, as you all guys can see, it's just a swing, but you still have to go on there with an adult. So a paid adult will have to get a ticket just to go on with their child. So that's probably the only kind of weird one that, uh, um, that they've got now. It just doesn't make sense to me though, a swing uh, on a boat that you can kind of uh, kind of pull yourself um, has to you know you have to have a paid adult to go on it so uh, yeah a bit of a silly one but so yeah right Jake you're gonna show us around there yeah. are you okay so there's also this nice outline of this very good um, pirate ship and when you go and start so there's all these doors that you can come in. If you come into here, there's a nice little area to speak and stuff. And if you and if you go over to here, there's another little area to speak. And as well as that, a nice golden outline. A nice little silver dot outline and the red coat and then around here we have got a fireman pole which i'm not really tall enough to go on yet but it's really good i really like them when they get help as well as that it's been a fine day you enjoying it, yeah? Yeah, I've enjoyed the day. Perfect. See you next time. Bye. Here we goes. No, I can't. Go on, here we goes. He's going to do it this time. Yay! Woo! How was that? Good. Yeah, you enjoyed that? Yeah. That's good then. Right, we're going to head up over to the other side of the park now, uh, towards the kind of the, more the entrance area as well, um, to get you some footage of uh, the scenic railway and show you the other little areas that's just down there as well. But yeah, Jake, did you enjoy the park? Yeah. Always great to get in the little park, isn't it? You can see Jake's just a little bit too small to be riding the uh, the scenic railway at the moment. But Jake, are you looking forward to when you actually are tall enough to ride yeah. it? Yeah. And what little bits are you uh, looking forward to? Oh, I am looking for the drops and the little drops and everything like that. Yeah. yeah. Ah, perfect. So yeah, so the scenic railway uh, was um, opened in say 1920. Uh, it was kind of one of the oldest uh, coasters or rides. Uh, in the UK and then obviously it had a tragic fire uh, but then with Lottery Granting they actually then rebuilt the ride 
uh, to what you actually still see today. So it has a uh, kind of, it still has a unique kind of thing to it. So it still uses uh, a brake man um, halfway into the train as well. Uh, that controls the ride speed slightly as well. So you can obviously get different variations of the ride depending on who's um, using that brake that day as well. But yeah, so this is the uh, this is the ride at the moment. Uh, so it's currently just got some little bit of downtime. There, but you can just see where the engineer is over there. There, he's actually uh, there on the brake bit. There, it looks like the brake stuff. So um, I don't think it's taken very long to get that back up and running, and then they'll be able to get in there as well. But what was quite interesting, uh, you know, just before um, it went down, the queue line for this is uh, you know, so minimal. Um, so you think it's a midday now at a park on a Saturday, um, and you're waiting around about 10 minutes for you know their, one of their major coasters. Uh, that's why it's really interesting sometimes to so try out these little places as well. And you'll probably find you'll get on two to three times as many rides as you would do um, if you was at kind of you know the bigger attractions or the bigger theme parks um, across the uh, the UK as well. So it's definitely worth trying them out ever so often. And in terms of cost-wise, I don't think they're actually that much of a cut more of a cost anyway. You know, um, I really do think in terms of value for money, they're probably one of the best ones uh, places you can go to. This one in Adventure Island is definitely for me uh, one of the highlights. Uh, as, you know, in terms of amusement parks or theme parks um, around. But yeah, I don't think it'd be long till this one gets up and running now. There we go, so that's some footage of the Caterpillar ride here. So it's the, the third coaster uh, cred that you can uh, uh, dreamland as well. And the operator but basically determines how many times he wants you to go around. So I know that I've sat on there before uh, with a five lap special, um, which uh, actually does get a little bit boring after time. But yeah, you can sit on there for quite a bit of time as well. So a little geek shot here. Just going around as well. but. They've actually added a little trim brake uh, to that little drop there, so it does actually make it a lot slower than I originally read it uh, some time ago. But yeah, the um, so that's the last of the credits uh, here at uh, Dreamland. And I, just as you kind of come off, you can have a look. Just look there. So you got the, obviously the double drop there. So it's quite a little, a famous little bit where you do get uh, photos from off um, of the scenic railway there. And then straight into the little air time bit there as well. So I have done it a few times, um, and you sometimes do get a, a bit of air time. Sometimes you don't. Uh, but I think later on, towards the end of the day, towards the back of the train, uh, it would, you'd definitely get a li just a little bit of air time. Obviously, not talking anywhere in terms of you know some B and Ms that are out there. But obviously, just for kind of what it is um, and the kind of the uh, the year it was made, uh, yeah, you'll definitely do get a little bit on there as well. So. Um, we're pretty much set um, to go for today, so uh, we're just going to film kind of towards the uh, as we're leaving the park, um, and then uh, we'll get Jake's reaction on his day. So there's a little bit of information about the engine room here. So Mar uh, the Margate Scenic Railway opened in the 3rd of July 1920, sorry, and promoted at the uh, time as the largest roller coaster in Europe. During the first full season in 1921, nearly a million people took the ride. 
Wow, what a difference, eh? Sydney Railways are an American invention and of the 1880s. And they rely on a brakeman who rides the train to slow it down at the corners. Absolutely brilliant. This ride was rebuilt three times after a fire, so 1949, 1957 and 2008. During this, the original components survived from the 1920s are the pulleys and the clutch mechanism in the engine room. And I don't know if you can just see that in there. That's kind of the, um, the only little kind of normal bit that he's kind of left of the ride there as well. So, but yeah, just wanted to show you that just shows you um, kind of how much they love this ride that they kind of wanted to build it uh, three times. Um, we're finishing this uh, vlog uh, as we started this morning, just in the deck chair as well, just a bit of a chill out. So the sun is still shining here as well. Uh, and we've really enjoyed our, uh, our day here at Dreamland as well. So. Jake, what's been your the, uh, your favourite ride of the day? Uh, Pinball X. Pinball X, yeah. I'll probably say the same as well. Pinball X has definitely been my uh, favourite of the day as well there. Um, so, unfortunately, we didn't get on the uh, the orange train or the blue train. Uh, but which one did we get on? The red. Yeah, the red train. And obviously, that's then Jake's favourite colour as well. So, we didn't really mind in the long run, did we? No. So, yeah, some really, really good. We had a little go on the slides over there as well. Got, kind of went down together and then separately as well at the same time. So we've really enjoyed that as well. So, yeah, but that, uh, unfortunately, that's the end of uh, this video and this uh, vlog from uh, Dreamland. Oh, so you want to give it stars? Yes. Yeah, so Pinball X, how many stars did you go out of five? Uh, I reckon a four. Out the whole park, I reckon five, so... You so you give it. Come here. So you give it a five out of five. Yeah. Wow. So you should definitely come here. Yeah, definitely. So we're going to give the park five out of five in terms of the actual overall rides, the waiting time as well for these rides as well. They're always amazing as well. So you can literally pretty much just run around and go back on it again if you want to. Um, you know, better than kind of what you can do at bigger rides, uh, bigger parks, and that as well. So, but yeah, that's uh, that's unfortunately the end of um, our uh, vlog for today. So I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, Jake coming along for the ride uh, today and getting his perspective uh, uh, up on the park as well something that we probably will do more uh, in the future as well when we kind of travel around uh, and kind of uh, Chess and Turn uh, kind of Fort Park and Alton Terrace and that kind of stuff as well so thank you to everybody so far that has subscribed so I'm up to about 110 subscribers now so thank you to everyone that's doing that um, I do promise that there will be kind of more coming on the channel and hopefully as well that the shakiness of the camera will get better as well over time. Um, unfortunately, when I did go away, I did forget uh, my little dongle that allows the uh, the GoPro to be um, held um, in my hands a lot better. So I was holding it just literally in my hands and hence the reason why it was shaking. Uh, I have ordered one of them and it should be with me today. Uh, so hopefully we'll get a little bit less shakiness um, when we're walking around as well. So up and coming stuff for us. So like I said, we will be going to Chessington. There'll probably be something next week where I've had a look at the boat, um, boat costs at the moment uh, and we're looking quite cheap for the day. So I'm looking to try and get out there next week as well. Um, but other than that, um, the up and coming plans, like I uh, said in my last vlog, if you've watched it, um, I am going to Orlando um, in next month in August um, to, and it will be my kind of first time uh, going to Orlando, which I'll be filming while I'm there at the same time as well. Uh, and meeting some people while we're there at the same time um, so that'll be great so yeah look out for them ones over time as well which will be really really good well thank you guys for subscribing if you haven't already put a uh, subscribe and comment below as well and i'll always get back to um, all the comments that are left um, but thank you so far hope you've enjoyed the day at dreamland